back. Let's enter the, the crime team. Okay, so who have we got this time? What is wrong with his hand? Why is he putting his... Mm. There's so many things with this game that's like that. It's like, why? So many things are just, why? See, again, this character, he walks, his back is far too straight. Oh, what is this? Video memo recording, agent 47023, nominee, uh. Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. I'm going to try, this time I'm going to try not to be like so negative with this because I was watching it back and it kind of like, it was pretty obvious that you know, I was going a bit too far. So I'm going to try and immerse myself in this. Although saying that, I don't really understand what these glasses are for. What the hell is that? Okay. I mean he looks stupid with them on, but you know, it is old I guess. I guess this is like free Google Glass. So these glasses ought to tell me more about these guys as well. Like, what's this guy's story? With the torch. Harry Connor, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Oh, so he's even got they've got AR written on them just in case we weren't sure. Actually I wasn't sure, so that's probably a good idea. But I thought that was as far as the pollen went. It went from there to the tent. Or does it go further up that way? Can't I just give the AR glove to one of these other people and then deal with it? Okay, so what do I do now? <laughs> There's a prep fool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. <laughs> oh, please tell me I can keep doing this. <laughs> okay, okay, that's it, that's it. I'm going to stop doing it now. Nah, just one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, what happens if he falls from here? Is it a different sequence? Let's, no, it's the same one! That's, uh, disappointing. That was not intentional. Absolutely not intentional. Oh, it hardly matters, does it, at this stage? Can I fall all the way down? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> and again. So there's really no incentive to not do that. <laughs> and this is Ethan again, right? I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. He keeps shouting Jason. Easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. If he's talking about his son, he it's totally is responsible. Is dead. Yes, it is. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. He would, yes. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. No, that was avoidable. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. He probably should. How is Sean? 
<laughs> not happy with the uh, with the rubbish apartment. How did things go at school today? I was punished because I didn't do my homework. I did, didn't I say in that last I'm episode? About that, Sean. I told him he should do his really homework and not together, watch TV. Okay? Uh, maybe we can talk to some other people. Ooh, merry-go-round. What about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. <laughs> I would absolutely not be trusting him to do that. I mean, you've got to feel for Sean because, you know, you wouldn't want to trust him. Oh, can something go wrong here? Is that it? Yeah, I, I would. He looks suitably disappointed. Oh, well, I missed. How do I get this going right? Oh no, it was rubbish that time as well. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to push it down, and then this one, and then. Oh, okay. Uh, oh! It's his eager face, which is then sort of crestfallen. I don't want to play that game anymore. Oh, come on, let's just one more time. A packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. Can I, I was going to eat them myself. Can I not do. What the hell am I doing? Ten pounds over there. Can I watch? See, why are they not creeped out by this? Did he put his hands on the tits? Okay, let's move, let's move on. Is there another kid I can give him to? Because Sean's is a massive sort of like wet blanket to be honest. Understandably, but he's still annoying. Where's, where's he gone? Oh, I don't want to lose another kid. So I'm going to mess this up as well, aren't I? Because it's I can't get these actions down right. Um, ah. Oh. Okay, let's try You're again. Dead. <laughs> well, this is definitely going better than the um, the roundabout. Well, my arms are starting to ache now, to be honest, because it's this motion control. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that was cool. God, man, he has got low expectations. Are, they, are those? Is that couple still making out over here? She, you know, you're right. She really doesn't look into it. They, look at him, look. Disgusting. He's got trailing hands as well. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's move on. No loud music. Okay, standard stuff. <laughs> He's done it again. He's had a blackout and the kid's gone missing. <laughs> he sounds a lot more anguished. Where's the... Oh, okay, that couple's gone. I think it's because this time he sounds like he's got a bit more emotion in his voice than when it was Jason. I mean, this time he realises he's really fucked it. I was really hoping there's an option so that I can, like, fall to, there, fall to my knees and then just go, Sean! No! 
many deeds. It happens. See, thing is, Dark Side Light is I don't think it is a bad game. It's um, I'm I'm interested in it. It's just a bit odd, and it's hard to sort of get into it because of the. I don't know, because the animation, the voice acting, the plot, actually a lot of it isn't very good. I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. Just leave it like that. The killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country. <laughs> Can't we just let it say, yeah, I've done it? Just leave it. Serial killer? I'm not tying his tie. I'm taking a stand. Well, I hope you're better at profiling than at tying knots. <laughs> See, you can do it. You're just being a prick. Who is Larry, and why am I having to give him money? So it's an office because it has on the door the word office. This. This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. I could have found that myself. It says office on the door. What did he do that for? <laughs> He's not going to have sex on the table, is he, with somebody? Okay. So what am I missing here? Files. That that noise would annoy the hell out of me. I'd be switching that right off if these were my AR gloves and stuff. <laughs> what happens if I just sit here? Is he gonna like vomit or something? <laughs> this is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And I lost him. And then... What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh... Brown? A brown coat. And a pair of pants. Um, brown. Brown pants. He likes brown. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? <laughs> He's got form. Do... Do you think the origami killer... So, no, it's not that. It's just negligence. Listen. Your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple Social hours. services will be in contact. Did they find something? No, <laughs> nothing yet. Oh man, They're she's going to be annoyed. You did it again. Do they, do they think it's the origami killer? No, they just think I'm an idiot. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for Again. God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? <laughs> oh, you got to bring Jason up. <laughs> Why is she not blaming him more? <laughs> 